Right, so here we're looking at how to make a flowchart with Lucidchart. So we have a subscription to Lucidchart. So all you have to do is sign up with your Google account. And then once you've got that done, you only have to hit login. Login your Google account. Okay, so Google account, login. All right, so we want to make a blank chart. So here we are, blank. And when we're making these flow charts, we still follow the same procedure as we would when we're writing one out by hand. We still need to have an idea of what we're going to implement. So remember, we start with a terminator. Okay, so a start or an end block, drag him out, double click, lets us edit the text inside the block. We're just going to call our start. Okay. Now our next block, here we're going to come down. So when we do that again, just so you can see, control Z lets us undo. When we hover over our block, we get these little red dots. These add connectors to the next block. So we can click on that. Our next one is going to be process. So what we'll make is a flowchart for checking whether we have more homework to do out of our diary. So the first step in our process is to get and check diary. Once we've done that, we have a decision. Is there unfinished work? So we're going to have a, which way are we going to go? Yes, a yes, there is unfinished work. Complete work then after that we want to check again their unfinished work so we can drag an arrow up coming back into our their unfinished work and this one we can make that fit a bit better we oops going on our text here we hold down shift and press enter will let us do a new line so now at the moment we've got something but it never ends. We start, we get and check our diary. Is there unfinished work? The only option is yes at the moment. We complete the work, we check, we complete the work, we check, we complete the work, check. Maybe we should come up to here. This line. Probably come up to this one. We check our diary again. Now we need a no block. No. If there's no finished work, done. Okay, that's all we have to do. So our flowcharts can be more complicated than that, sure, but you're just following the same process over and over again, having decisions. They don't always have to be yes, no. There might be numbers. Most of the time they'll be yes, no. If we just double click on those arrows, we can change what they say, added some extra text. If you double click on that yes we can change what it says and once we've got that and we want to put it into a google doc or a word doc or into OneNote, we can just go up here to file and we can use a few ways we can download it so if we download it as a png with transparent background that means whatever we put it on we'll get the same background coming through it's just the lines we get so an SVG is a vector graphic. If we're doing laser cutting, drawing something else on here, then you can do that and send that off to the laser cutter. Let's go with a G. Now it'll show us our document here. So it cuts it down to all that we need. 
get different qualities for a PNG. It's an actual picture, it's a bitmap, so it has each single pixel defined instead of defining where the lines go and how the lines act. So we can then download that, generate our file, and download it. Yeah, we can then save that and drag that straight into whatever we want. So for OneNote, we can then just drag that straight down into OneNote, get our flowchart. Nice and pretty.